Hey there, welcome back guys. In this video, we're going to be showing you another way to find your drone, a legitimate way, um, by its last GPS location. Let's say you're in the woods, you're flying your drone through the creek, uh, into the mountains, or up the valleys, wherever it is, and um, everything's going well, then all of a sudden, you lose your drone. What do you do? One, you can go into the woods and uh, or, you know, explore and try finding it um, by activating the, the, the beeps, ESC beeps, or you can find its last GPS location. And in this video, we're going to show you that, uh, and you'll be able to interact with it via Google Maps. You can actually set the walking distance and, you know, be on your way. And hopefully, you know, your drone will be in the vicinity and there'll be enough time to activate the beep so that you can hear it. Or maybe you'll even see it if you have these things on. Anyway, without any further ado, come. Let's get started. Let's show you how to find the last GPS location on your drone. Okay, so we're going to launch the DJI Fly application. You'll press it, which is going to give you a gist of things. And you see profile and see where it says your user ID. Mine is Flight Commander and 90 hours, flights 896, but below it, click there. See, and I can see my flights. I can press it. I can play it once it zooms in and does what it needs to do. Errors usually show up in red, so if your drone crashed, you can just view the errors. You can scrub through it, uh, but in this case, you know, nothing. But you can't view the home point until it's actually, you see the H. So when I click here on the right-hand side, you see you have your joysticks, home point, which is right there. It just zoomed in on it, but it doesn't do much. Let's say you lost your drone and crashed it. There's not much you can do. You can just watch it and maybe, you know, share this with DJI. But that's it. So now I'm going to show you how to get your flight data. This is on the iPhone though. Okay. So knowing that and moving forward, uh, there's an application called files. Okay. See right there files. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go browse. Okay. And if you click, click browse, you can see other stuff there. Um, but then what we're going to do is we're going to go back from browse and you see where it says on my iPhone, select that. And you have two applications. You may have the FCC DJI Fly, and I have the DJI Fly. If you have both apps, just click on DJI Fly. Okay, and then if you go here, see where it says flight records? There it is. There, these are your flight records. Let me see if I can um, view by date. You want to view by date because most likely you want, you know, your last flight. Um, and then we have here, mm, yeah, view by date, but I don't, see, oh, there we go, 5-4. But it's weird because it goes from 54, 524. I know my last flight was 524. So knowing that and moving forward, I just have to scrub through until I get to 524. Okay. So I'm just gonna scroll through, and the last one would have been see 5 oh 523. Okay. Right? So I'm gonna press it. Okay, and then you're gonna select on the uh, left hand side that little arrow in a, in a rectangle okay um now the, what, what i'm going to do is i'm going to send it to my computer okay i'm going to do um you can do an airdrop okay macbook pro see and it just went to my uh, computer you could also do this on the phone too by saving it on the phone and then i'm going to click done and we're just going to go here go there and now we're going to go back to our desktop okay and there we are um, so now what we're going to do is from your desktop go to your downloads folder for me it'll be right here see there it is dji flight it's a txt file okay and there'll be a link to this website in the description down below see and this is here it's air data all right uh we don't need to see me anymore all right so um Knowing that, moving forward, you create an account. It's for free. There was another version that I was using, um, but it didn't really give you a GPS coordinates. And it was, uh, but this will. Okay, so you you create a free account. You log in, and this will be your splash page. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to press upload. Okay, and you see you can drop it or select files. For me, I'm going to uh, select files, and for me, remember it's on the. Um, desktop so we have to go and huh interesting i thought i had desktop on here um if you don't see your desktop let's see it should be in your favorites if not just navigate to wherever your um desktop folder 
is okay. Knowing that and moving forward for me, it's right there. And there it is. DJI flies, but actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put it back. Why it's not there? I don't know, but we'll just put it right there. See, now you have it. All right. So I'm going to select it. I'm going to press open. And once you upload it, you'll see this. It doesn't upload it all automatically. You just have to press upload flights. And now it should upload depending on your internet speed. Remember, it's a free service. So sometimes, you know, free doesn't always mean faster, um, but it will work. Okay. See? Um, coordinates are not available. Interesting. If we click on general, mm, let's see power. Power is pretty neat. Sensors. But what we really want is the um, coordinates are not available. It's possible. Let's see. We'll delete it and try it again. Let's see. I understand. And let's try that again. Upload. And go into right here. Select files. DJI flight records. It's possible that the last flight was not a flight. Okay. So let's see what we have here upload flights. It is not big enough, so it's possible that it, it could have been um, nothing. All right, so let's go back to our flights. Okay. Let's see what we have here. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to go back to um, welcome back to everything that glitches. We're going to go to um, here, files. Okay, click done. And remember, we chose the last one, 5.4. Let's try that again. Uh, it's possible. Let's see, we have 5.23, 5.23. Let's try this one. Okay, click done. Because as you can see, the other it's possible that, you know, it might have been recording and nothing happened. So now we're just going to select, um, let's see, right here, 523. That one looks like it's got a lot going on in there. MacBook Pro. Okay. And select, we'll just escape and move out of it. And we'll delete this. Okay. And I understand what we're doing. And now I'm just going to go back to, I'll just upload it from the downloads. And right here, we saw it went into downloads. See, there's our flight record. And this one's pretty big. Look, it's got 166 kilobytes. Okay. And 0 0.2. Most likely there's some data in here. It takes a second or two to upload. And voila. See, we have our flight data. Because sometimes what will happen is um, you'll you'll start recording and you, you might take off, you won't take off. So that flight data is there, but you know, there was no crash, right? So what we want to do is we want to get the last GPS coordinates in case there is a crash. Um, so don't be intimidated if there's no data in there, because most likely that I don't, you know, I might've been running a test or something, but it just keeps track of everything. All right. So knowing that and moving forward, you have right here, general, right? And then you have your power. See, kind of neat. You have your sensors um, and, you know, controls, uh, not enough, but we'll go back to general, right? And then if you go to overview, kind of neat details, see, this is what you want. So this is really interesting because look, um, it says address. That's not the address. I don't know why it does that, but that's fine. Uh, and then the last known location. So last known location, what you do is you click on it, right? And then it'll give you the last loan location and then you can just zoom in from there. So these are the coordinates of the last loan lo location. If you have a Garmin or another GPS unit where you can put these coordinates in, that would work really well. And then you just zoom in right to where the last loan known location was. Uh, and then if you, um, if you're in Google maps, you don't need to put it in your Garmin. You just basically, um, you know, you would just say directions and then the directions will, uh, you know, we'll say I'm going to walk there, right? I want to walk and, and get my my uh, my drone. And then you just zoom in 
and then it'll give you walking directions to wherever it is that you know you're going to retrieve your um, device all right and that's pretty much it and you know there's some other stuff in there you have equipment uh it tells you which drone the dji abata has a serial number and then you have notifications but there weren't any notifications um and you have an hd flight player you can see how the flight was this is really interesting because look if you want to see you know it tells you everything that happened during that flight and you know thankfully there were no crashes so there's not much to share but i wonder what this you know the little pink thingy right here and there's a lot of data if you're really into the data this will work well for you and then you just press play and you can see the flight your battery capacity not updated for extended period why that is i don't know hmm, interesting looks like i might have a battery battery capacity wait well whoops that is really yeah I, last time i had a battery capacity um thingy i had to send the battery back to dji anyway but that's enough of that um that's it catch you guys on the flip side kind of neat huh as easy as one two three and even though we did this on the computer it's the same process on your phone basically uh, if you're on your iphone or android phone or whatever phone you might have you would just navigate to the folder or, or directory that it's saved on on your phone and then it'll just simply upload and ideally it would be the perfect experience because you you know you won't have to go back home and then go back to wherever it is you need to go to to locate this thing anyway i hope this video helped you in better understanding how to find the gps location on your drone if you have any comments or questions feel free to leave them down below or ideas for other videos remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you all next time.